The flank type auto hinge uses the spring hinge and damper hinge as a pair. The spring hinge, which is attached to the upper part of the door, closes the door automatically or holds it open. The damper hinge, which is attached to the lower part of the door, adjusts its closing speed. The Flag Type 300 series meets various applications with its compact and neat appearance, a wide variety of colors, both right and left hand opening use, and free stop mechanism. Install the spring hinge on the upper part of the door and damper hinge on the lower part of the door. Install the spring hinge at a distance 200 millimeters or more from the upper surface of the door. Make sure that the rotation axis of the upper and lower hinges is properly aligned. Check the mounting direction of the hinge and tighten the mounting screws securely. Place the door to the specified position and fix it securely with a mounting screw. Make sure the door can be opened and closed smoothly. Remove the cap of the spring hinge. Open the door about 10 degrees to align the sides of the spring hinge's set hole. Check the driving direction of the spring pin. Place the spring pin into the set hole so that the arrow on the mounting paper points toward the center of the shaft. Drive the spring pin in securely. Open the door about 90 degrees. Loosen the preset screw until it protrudes one millimeter above the hinge surface. Remove the cap of the damper hinge. To adjust the door's closing speed, use a screwdriver to turn the speed adjustment screw as shown on the top of the cap. Turn the speed adjustment screw counterclockwise to increase the closing speed. Turn the speed adjustment screw clockwise to decrease the closing speed. After adjusting the closing speed, attach the cap of the damper hinge. The free stop mechanism holds the door open easily between 85 and 180 degrees. The door closes automatically when released at zero to 85 degrees. Open the door about 90 degrees. Tighten the preset screw of the spring hinge until it touches the base. The door will stop at a roughly 10 degree position when closing. Remove the cap of the spring hinge. Pull out the spring pin using two flathead screwdrivers. Removing the spring pin disengages the spring. Now you can start the maintenance.